Hey, this video I'm going to share with you a quick lesson on using Rewind QuickBooks Online to fix a problem where there's been a deleted invoice and you need it back inside QuickBooks Online. So the first ingredient we need is QuickBooks Online. Second ingredient we need is Rewind App. If you got it, the two together, uh, we can definitely do this. So here we go. Um, step one, I'm going to have a thousand dollar invoice here. It's an invoice and it's been paid, so that's trouble if somebody deletes this. But let me go ahead and make that mistake here. Are you sure? Yes. And it is gone. Okay. I can go into my audit log here. I can discover the options that we have here we can see our deleted invoice is happening right there okay all right second step let's now navigate into rewind i've got that pulled up to the side here i'm linked into my rewind digital collaboration qbo demo and i just need to refresh that got to wait here, okay, so our invoice for $1,000 right here. Okay, so I'm gonna click View Versions, okay. All right, so on the left-hand side, our current version is gone. You have deleted this item. To get it back, select the past version to rewind it, okay. So here are our different options here. There's only been one version, the most recent version. So I have that option here. I'm gonna go ahead and click restore this version. Okay, take a quick look here. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and restore that. All right, please wait, we're restoring $1,000. And I'll get an email confirmation when that restore is complete. Okay, so I just got that email on my phone. <laughs> and so I have it here, I'm gonna refresh. Okay, so very interesting here uh, that I've got sequential solution. So I'm logged in as the accounting professional under sequential solutions when I made that re restoration. So it goes down as the accounting firm that gets credit for bringing that back in. So basically Steve Chase is the user company user and sequential solutions is the accountant. So we've got two accounts here. So that's why we see both of them here. But basically if we just follow along here, we can see that it was created. Now the problem here is that the payment that was associated with it is still not linked to it. So it is going to require uh, some work in there. Okay, so basically uh, we would need to go find that thousand dollar payment uh, from there. So what I can do one way is if it was a recent transaction, it happens to be here. I, I could go here. I could also, of course, go into the customer center and see all the transaction details here. And so we've already recorded a payment. I just need to reassociate that with that invoice here for a thousand here. So that's, that is it. This is the one that it was linked to originally. So I'll, I'll save and close that out. Um, I've already reconciled it, so I'm okay with this scenario here because the thousand dollars payment's been reconciled. I just need to get that invoice back in there. So I've got it back, and then I need to team it back up associated with that. And then I'm done. So I hope that helps out here. Uh, just a quick little look at the vault. When you're in your rewind, you're going to have everything that's happened in your QuickBooks account. When you uh, click on any of the transactions, you can see the current version and any previous versions 
and then the restore this version will bring it back to the to that status that you see there so hey guys thanks for watching and um, real quick here if you're looking for the rewind uh, app um, I'll put a link in the description to go ahead and and sign up for that uh, I do appreciate that that does uh, help support the channel and it also gives you peace of mind knowing that you're just one click away from making a mistake uh, repaired and restored back into QuickBooks Online.